What's fantastic for us is that Indian as a manufacturer allow us to do this because a lot of manufacturers wouldn't allow this to happen. We're building a custom Indian Sport Chief. It's the latest model in the Indian range. We're building it for the bike shed. We're building it with Rich Jones from the Stereophonics. Rich has got a real interest in motorcycling, done a lot of track stuff, but has now got a cruiser. And that's where this bike, I think, is the perfect bike for Rich. For me, motorbikes it goes way back. I had my first bike when I was roughly 11, 12, and I've had a bike ever since. It's just one of my passions of being on the bike. It takes me to a totally different place. This is what Crazy Horse does. We've been building custom bikes for 28 years. An element of it is stuff we do make ourselves. An element of it is getting other people to make stuff for us. An element is buying parts off the shelf. And that's what puts together a great custom bike. What we look for in a collaborator is people that we can trust. So it's really easy when you're working with people like OJZ, Adrian Smith at Buckland, because they already tuned into what we do. We want to give the whole bike a more aggressive look, probably a more European, more British look. So we made a special belly pan, anything where we want that traditional hand beaten, one-off piece made, then Adrian's made that piece for us. Most of our car work is pre-48 American. So when we look at the bike stuff, it's got a nostalgia twist on it rather than just a modern bike. We use a lot of nostalgic tooling to keep everything as it should be. That belly pan you'd see on a lot of dragsters, that sort of wrapping around the back of the tyre on the headlamp, there's three LED lights. So when I spoke to Paul on the phone, I said, I'm thinking about putting three swages that they would then tie in with the three lights in the headlamp. And it just gives it a theme. Very small detail, but somebody will see it. I met Lance at a custom car show. He was there exhibiting some amazing exhaust he'd made for a big block Chevy V8. I was blown away with the quality of the bends and the welds and everything, and I persuaded him over a period of time that he should do some bike exhaust for us. Lance has made us a two-into-one performance exhaust. It just has that raw finish, and you can see all of the lovely welds that Lance does. It's a very conventional design with a megaphone and a silencer inside the megaphone but it fits the bike really well. And with welding for me, it's a passion and every weld I do, I try to make it the best weld I've ever done. If you didn't do that, I think you're kind of walking out on yourself. This being a bike that's got that hard edge, I wanted to use some of the cast bits that we use. Being sand cast, it's a very old process, but it gives you a really different feel to it. It gives you a real organic feel to it. Everyone loves a nice clean workshop. And then you go to the foundry and it's smoky and it's like entering some Vulcan's Forge sort of thing. For me, being at the foundry just took me way back to when I was a teenager because I used to work in the steelworks in South Wales. It's quite inspiring knowing that people still have these traditional techniques. They asked if I had any kind of imagery that they could perhaps put onto the bike. And they instantly come to me, I have my tattoo designs put on my plectrums for every tour we do. So this design which I submitted is an Ace of Spades death card. A popper on the bike, no? Yeah. Put it on the bike. Yeah, working with Paul has been brilliant. It's just a small part of it, but I think it's just a very unique part. The bike is a cruiser, but it's been upgraded with performance exhaust that highlights what the Sport Chief is about. The belly pan directs air into the engine to give better cooling, but also gives it a more aggressive look. Made these special cast covers, the special braced swing arm, giving it a race type paint job and just minor things, better suspension, better brakes, and all the things that sports bike riders would understand and see. It's been a real challenge on the time scale, having to get the people that we've worked with over the years, really having to persuade them to help me get this done in a stupid amount of time. Normally these sort of projects take a lot longer to do, but because of the dedication of these guys, they've really pulled it together.